Hey y'all, Joseph Weber here, and there's a cool new feature that I've been getting lots of questions about that I really want to share with you. Color sorting. Now you're like, hey, you had a video before on color sorting. This one's different. This one is with this robot, which most of the time doesn't have color sorting, but there's a really innovative way to do it. So check it out. Now, the key to that color sorting is that we have a gap between this top roller and the top of this conveyor, and that gap is just big enough for a block to fit through. So what that means is if we are are picking up the wrong color, let's say we're the blue lines, so we're picking up a red one, what's gonna happen is this conveyor will spin the normal forwards, but when it gets to the top, this roller will spin backwards. And what that's gonna do is gonna shove the block out this way, like this. So you can see it just flies out that way. And that's really cool and it totally works. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking, hey, this is something I might wanna put on my robot, go ahead and click the link in the description. Uh, there's a link there for a whole bunch of uh, photos, a slow-mo video, some of the code that I use, how I made the code for uh, this work. I've gotten lots of questions about that. So go ahead and click that link below and I'll send you all the details on that. Now, let's get into a little bit of how you might put one of these on your robot. Basically how it works is in there, you can see we have, have an optical sensor. And what this optical sensor does is it is always looking for the block. And so when the block comes up, it only pick up a blue so it doesn't spit it out. You can see that block pretty much is always in the path of that optical sensor. And so as soon as it gets to the top, the sensor's gonna see it really well. And so what that means is as soon as it sees it, it'll, um, in the code, what I have it doing is as soon as it sees the red, um, if I'm the blue lines, then it'll keep spinning this one, but it'll take this one and just spin it backwards instead of just keeping it stopped. You can see that if it's stopped, like, there's no chance of it falling out the top. But if you were to spin this one backwards, then it would totally fall out like we saw earlier. Now, you might be wondering, if this is so good, if this works so well and it's so easy to implement, why is not everyone doing this color sorting on the robot? The answer is really simple, actually. Imagine we're on the blue team, and we have picked up a blue block, and you know, we pick up another blue block, and we're good there. Now we accidentally pick up a red. So the red one is still in our robot is the problem. Um, you can see our blue ones are at the top like they should be, and the red one is below them, and we can't get it out. It's still stuck in our conveyor. We can't sort it out because it's not at the top yet. It'll get sorted out when we score, but it's still taking up room in our robot, and that's one less blue block that we can hold. So that can kind of be a problem if you pick up a lot of reds by accident. And that's the main reason that you don't see these a lot at your competitions is because it's cool that it keeps you from scoring the wrong color, and that's definitely better than nothing, but it's not really valuable enough yet because it's still if you still pick up the wrong color, it's still in your robot, and you still have to deal with carrying it around all over the place until you can score and get rid of it. So if you think you have an idea that might be able to fix this, if you think you have an idea of color sorting for a robot like this that might be able to work and get them out of the conveyor area, do let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click that link in the description for all the details on the color sorting. And I've got another cool color sorting video coming up soon on an idea that I have on how to solve this problem. But if you have any, don't forget to leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.